Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I am honestly so exhausted today. I didn't sleep well at all. I just finished working three night shifts in a row. I worked Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, a whole weekend. And it was honestly really fun. I had a lot of friends that were on my first two night shifts. I just had the same baby and she was really cute. And then my last night shift, I actually got to go on a transfer to take her to a lower level NICU. And then I came back, was extra hands helping out the unit. And then I did an admission. And whenever, if you know, you know, you do an admission between like three, four or later, I don't know, something about those wee hours <laughs> makes you feel extra tired after all that excitement, but yeah, I love having admission. It's a great way to pass time on night shift for sure. So for today, I only slept like 8 to 11.30. Then I got up, I went to the grocery store to grab some things because tonight I'm going to be having a couple of the girls over for our first barbecue of the season up at the very nice patio at my building, so I'm so excited. I just finished putting together a pasta salad. I will show you, it is so good. I will also put the recipe down below so you guys can make it as well. I love me a quick healthy pasta salad in the summer. Pretty much all I did was cherry tomatoes, cucumber, onion, chickpeas, feta cheese, and like a little easy Greek dressing that I whipped together and it is so yummy. It is Wednesday, so as you saw yesterday, I went to spin class. I didn't record any clips at Sweat and Tonic. I was rushing in late and I totally forgot, but it was such a good class. It was One Direction and Taylor Swift. I went with my friend Carrie and then afterwards we checked out the new market food court at the well and had such yummy acais. And then afterwards I ran back home because my boyfriend and I were going to go get something quick to eat and then go to this free outdoor movie, which I highly, highly recommend. It was so much fun. And there were so many good choices at the Well Food Court that I actually suggested that we go back again for dinner because when I was walking around, I knew the purpose after class was to get an acai, but there was so many good yummy options that I want to try that. I said to my boyfriend, I think we should go to the Well Food Court because it literally is like a 10 minute walk from where the free outdoor movie was. It was at Fort York historic site, so super convenient. Then we went back, tried Gus Tacos for the first time. I heard so many good things about it before and it lives up to the hype. It was so, so good. I got a chicken taco and a fish taco, both super, super yummy. My favorite was the fish, highly recommend. And then we saw the free outdoor movie, which was Wet Hot Summer. I never saw that movie before. It's a little ridiculous, but it was really fun, cute date night, and it's something free to do in the city, which you have to take advantage of. Today, I am going to walk down to Ossington and meet Sierra for lunch. It is so hot outside. It's 27 degrees. My apologies, you can definitely hear my washer going in the back. I am catching up on laundry after my three night shifts. I'm doing a hot girl walk down to Ossington and back. I'm very excited. We are going to go to Manita. I've been there for dinner before, but never lunch, so I'm excited. I 
I am back. It was so nice to see Sierra as always. I just love the Ossington area. It has such good vibes. On the way home, I stopped at HomeSense because I wanted to pick up a Father's Day gift and a birthday present for my dad and my stepmom because I'm going to visit them this weekend for Canada Day. So I stopped and found some really cute stuff. So I will show you. Okay, so their birthday is literally a day apart. So I thought it would be kind of cute to get a gift that kind of coordinates and goes together with a theme. So they have a pool at their place. So I kind of went with the pool day theme. I got my dad, it's like this his and hers pool floaty set. I got my dad this floaty. I got Lisa this floaty and her favorite color is orange. So it's perfect. And then I just got a couple snacks and it's like a little pool day themed gift. Okay, so for Father's Day, I was a little stumped, but then I saw this really cute card and then it kind of gave me the idea of doing like a barbecue theme because my dad loves to barbecue and in particular, he loves to make burgers, like his homemade burgers. So I thought this was so cute. It's like a little set with all different sauces and seasoning and then like a little shaper for the burgers. So I was like, that's so cute. Okay, so I just got back from Summerhill Market and I wanted to do a little haul of what I got. This has to be my absolute favorite grocery store in Ontario, but unfortunately it's a little bit of a hike for me, especially when most times I go, I walk, which is good in the summer when it's nice. It's like a good excuse to get outside, get some exercise, but on the other hand, that's a big reason why I don't get to go too often. So when I do get to go, it's always a nice little treat. They have such good pre-packaged food and I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites. Starting off strong first, their chicken Caesar wrap is hands down the best chicken Caesar wrap I've ever had in my life. I was never a chicken Caesar wrap girl. Heard about this on TikTok, tried it, now I'm obsessed every time I go. I have to get it and I always crave it. Next, I wanted to get something to have for dinner tonight and then for dinner tomorrow after my day shift. Just something quick, easy, healthy. So I picked up this pre-made vegetable pad thai. It looks really good. I've never had it before. Excited to try. And then as well, I wanted to pick up something to have for my lunch tomorrow while I'm working. So I picked up one of my favorite salads by them. It is the, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> It is these, half of these items could be upside down. I was not paying attention, so my apologies. It is the strawberry feta salad. It is so good. Even the dressing, chef's kiss. And then I had to pick up to have as a little like snack and it's a really good size. So like multiple snacks, <laughs> their fruit salad. And it is just so yummy. Their fruit is so fresh. And then these are my favorite little muffins to have for breakfast. They're just grab and go high protein, high fiber, low calorie banana chocolate chip muffins. I heat these up in the microwave because it says that they're best served warm. So good, especially after a night shift, like they hit different. I'm so excited to come home and have my little muffins and then get to bed. And then I had to get, they have a great selection of Poppy and Olipop. So I got the strawberry vanilla to try of the Olipop and then the poppy orange because this has been my favorite flavor lately and I don't like orange soda so that will tell you how good it is. Then I was really excited when I saw Barbell Protein Bars because I first tried these in Miami. I bought them at Trader Joe's. They're seriously the best protein bar on the market. I love them. And then they have like the best honey crisp apples so every time I go I have to pick up a few. Update with my day, I just went to the gym and now I'm just having dinner. I'm testing out the Pad Thai from Summer Hill Market. It is so good and there's so much in the pack. Like this is not even half. So it's such a good value for $9.99. It is currently Saturday morning and it is pouring. Yesterday I didn't vlog anything because I worked day shift so I was busy with that the entire day and then it was a super busy day like really tasky so 
At the end of the day, I literally just came home and relaxed, watched some reality TV, and went to bed. Yesterday was a good day. I had a new hire working with me. She was so, so sweet, and I really hope I get to work with her in the future. It was only her first day on the unit. Today, I am going to go to Sweat and Tonic at one o'clock for a HIT workout class. My boyfriend's coming. It's his first ever class at Sweat and Tonic. I finally convinced him to go. And then this evening, I'm going to the Nile Horn concert with a bunch of girls from work. We're gonna go to Earl's first and then go to the concert and I'm so excited. It's honestly probably gonna bring me back to my One Direction fangirl days. I was always an Nile girl. Excited for your first class. I am. 